What's up, family? I'm over here annoyed at my son. He's wearing a bank, opening up his first bank account at the age of 15. Because he's working. He's working, he's getting paychecks, so he has to open up a bank account. And so this guy knows how to save money, but he eats money faster than he saves it. I don't get it. How many of you guys have bank accounts for your children? And I want to know what have been your bank account rules for your kids, especially if you have a boy. I want to hear from those who have a boy, because with my daughter, it was a lot easier. You know, she just went with the flow. She just listened to mommy and went with the flow. But my son is a miniature me. This boy is stubborn, and he does whatever he wants to do. So I was speaking to him earlier today because he, he um, broke up his cell phone. And he just thinks because he makes his own money, he could just buy his own cell phone now. What's up, Darielle? What's up, Janelle? How y'all doing? So I'm over here depositing this money, and he's convinced that he has $850. And when I'm talking to this boy about how that makes sense, how it adds up to that much money, and he swear he only ate like $40 of his money, he ain't depositing $850. He ate up his money. Now he's blaming me. Now he's blaming me. So anybody here has a son, a teenage son? See, Bashid is saying he said the same thing. See, I'm not the only one. Can y'all hear him in the background? He is something else. So if you have a son, Dr. Shauna needs your advice if you have a son. What do you do if you have a son that you open up a, a banking account for your son? What do you do to discipline him with his money? What do I do? Do I let this boy use his money to buy whatever he wants? Because y'all know I'm totally against that. I'm totally against that. And this is we're knocking heads. Jude says banks are open on Sundays in Jersey. Yes, TD Bank is open on Sundays in Jersey. TD Bank is. And I didn't feel like driving all the way to Newark. And Newark is not open on Sundays. The Black Bank is not open on Sundays. So I'm here doing this with him now so I get him disciplined. And you know, we're later on, we'll transfer his money over. Because I have to get the money out the house. I have to get the money out the house. This boy is eating up his money. And this is what kids, I told you guys not too, long, not too long ago that there was a study that was done on how children spend money. And in the study, y'all got to look it up. Who's the um, person over the study? I forgot who the study is. I, I will post that later. I will post the article later. But it was a study that was done. And they, they surveyed teenagers. And what they found, the number one thing that teens spend their money on is food. So Harris says, Ma, let him spend his money, and when he run out, he gonna ask you for more, Mama. No, Harold, he ain't gonna ask me for no more. See, the thing is, Harold, I don't know if I shared this with you guys a while ago, I don't give my children money. So some parents do allowance. I don't do allowance with my kids. Every child of mine has to work for their money. So he's on payroll. Let me see a check, Jace. Pass me a check. He on payroll. He's gotten paid three times already. I got two of them here with me. He's gotten paid three times already. See his little money? You see his little money? You see his little money? He on payroll. So I don't give my kids allowance. No way in hell. And, and if my, my little one, how I told him about money, he, he had $5. <laughs> the five-year-old had $5. And he wanted a hug from me. He asked mommy for a hug. Now, y'all all know I hug my children all the time. I'll hug you for free. So I told my son that I was going to cost him $5 for a hug. And he went in his pocket, and he got the $5. <laughs> And he paid me, he paid me $5 for a hug. <laughs> and then after he got the hug, he turned back around and asked me for his $5 back. I never gave it to him. <laughs> and I still have all $5, but I want him to learn supply and demand. So I, there's plenty of times I would say, Sage, go get the remote control. 
Sage, go get mommy a cup. Sage, go get mommy's cell phone. He should be charging me. He should say, Mama's going to cost you a dollar. I want him to get into that habit so he won't give away him, his services for free. So he won't devalue himself. And if somebody wants something from him, I want my sons to be in a habit that they can charge for it. We don't have to act like we, we're not valuable. We don't have to have other people dictate our value. So I tell him all the time, right? I do that. With my oldest son, he just thinks because he's on payroll. Y'all got to go check him out on YouTube. Check out the videos he does for me on my YouTube channel. So that's how he gets paid. So allowance, I don't give allowance. I don't believe in allowance. My mother didn't give me allowance. I'm not giving my children allowance. They're going to make that money. Darren says, I already know the answer. No, I don't already know the answer, Darren. The reason why I'm asking, Darren, because sometimes I am so strict as a mom and I have to learn balance. Here's somebody saying, his little money, he probably think is big money. Smith, no, he doesn't think his little money is big money. You know what he said to me? I said, oh, so you got close to $800? You balling? He was like, no, I can't even pay rent. I said, you don't even pay rent. <laughs> what are you talking about? You don't even pay rent. He talk about he want to be able to take care of himself. Take care of yourself at 15? Do, do, you, do you hear this talk? Take care of himself. But I like that concept. I like the idea because when he's looking at me, when he, when he gets in a situation, he gets married and he visits family, I want him to know that he has to provide for his family. No doubt, because what you won't do, the next person will do. You better provide for your family. Stop, Sage. What is Darren saying? Darren says, what are his goals in life? How is he going to reach them without money? Growing food is a way of reaching and saving money. The younger you start, the better. So Darren is asking you, what are your goals in life? What do you say? What are your goals in life? He says to make money. How? Huh? He said he gonna make money. That's his goal in life. And now he's just sitting here laughing. I said, how? He said, however I need to. So you, you gonna be selling drugs? Huh? <laughs> Shahid is saying, love it. So yesterday we had the Black Family Blueprint and Shahid was one of my um, students in the Black Family Blueprint. And she said that she learned some tricks and trades for what she's gonna do with her daughter. And that's good. I'm glad I was able to give you some things. And about low investment and high investments, I'm glad we was able to have that conversation because I teach my children the same thing. You know, they gotta be, they gotta be strategic. When it comes to nation building, you can't be out here having kids with everybody. I don't want, I don't want you to meet, I don't want my child, he's 15 years old. I don't want him to meet with somebody who, you know, he got to depend on her to do everything because he don't know how to do things. I know some men that can't balance a book. I know some of them, the only thing they know about depositing money, and, and hey, half, half of them scared of bank accounts. I want my children to be in a place where they understand it. They got to know how to write a check. They got to know to sign the back of the check. He signed his own little check. I like that. You got his little bills, his $100 bills all balled up. I like that over here. Fold it up. Let me get your money. Get, get your money. Get your money. Look at, look at his money. Look at, he, he balling. He balling over here. <laughs> he think he big balling. Look at this boy. Look at this boy. Look at this boy. He got these 20s, these 100s, these 50s. <laughs> He's all folded up. I got to get him a money clip. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Mommy, people. I want my money back. Okay, you get your money back when you figure out how to get it back. I told you, you get your five dollars back when you figure out how to get it back. You're not gonna get anything for free. I got that money fair and square. You asked me for a hug. I told you it's gonna cost five dollars for me to give you a hug. I got that money fair and square. Now, if you, if mommy asks you to do something, then you just need to charge me. You gotta figure that out, bro. Listen, guys. Take your children through this experience. Take your children through the experience. Yeah, Smith says you big boiling. <laughs> Shahida said, let me hold five dollars. <laughs> but y'all gotta see him. He didn't want to be on camera, so I don't put the kids on camera. But y'all gotta see him. He he think he over here, he lit. This boy think he nice. He thinking about the phone he gonna buy. <laughs> he said he wanna go shopping. <laughs> <laughs> with your money. What you doing with that little bit of money? And you know what the funniest part is? He really think he's going to be able to um, withdraw money out the account without me. 
<laughs> oh man. Oh my God. What y'all saying on here? Thank y'all for coming into the bank with me. But no, seriously, y'all gotta get your kids if you have not already done it. Bring your kids into the, the bank and let them experience it. Let them experience it. Don't always just give in to your kids. You see my son over here crying because he won his $5 back because I brought it up. He ain't getting it back. You better learn how to earn it back. I still got the same $5 on the nightstand waiting for him, waiting for him. I want to start transitioning his mind, shifting his mind so he can start thinking about his value and his worth. In his time, I make my kids do everything. Go get me a glass of water. Jace, Jace, I'll call him on his barrel. Give me a cup. <laughs> right? I want them to, well, the 15-year-old can't do that to me because I ain't paying him to get me a cup. But the 5-year-old, because I'm teaching him, I will pay him to get him a cup. My boy Quincy is saying this is funny as hell. <laughs> Henry says, good deal. Teach them at a young age about saving. Smith says, five dollar hugs. I can't even afford that. <laughs> I got my hugs on that way. <laughs> What's going on, Vivian? Yes, he'll be alright. You see him? You see him? Look at the camera. Say hi. He's so dramatic. Let me get over here because he's embarrassing me. I gotta go have a conversation with him in the bathroom. <laughs> you know how we do it, right? We put like, I'm about to take him into the bathroom and have a conversation with him. So I won't be embarrassed in here. Anyway, I think that man back there, the Asian guy back there, you see him? I'm waiting for him so I can open up his account. He had me sitting here for like an hour waiting, helping these people. Does anything really take an hour? But anyway, peace and blessings, pe people. Peace and blessings, family. Y'all go ahead and um, open up accounts for your kids. Give them something to look forward to. Let them experience this whole thing, signing their own checks and stuff. Just let them experience it. I love you all. I'll speak to you guys soon. Have a blessed day.